Swoop is calling out Mikey in an explosive video where she calls her out on all the terrible things that she has done and all the homophobic things that she continues to do. If you guys don't know who Mikey is, she is a YouTuber here on YouTube with 4 million followers and she continues to be homophobic and to um, pretty much blame Jeffree Star and James Charles for their own success. It's honestly so gross and I'm personally offended with what she has done. So get ready to pay close attention, grab a snack and wash it down with some hot tea. Let me take these glasses off and let's talk exactly what is going on here because Twitter is blowing up and I think YouTube's blowing up as well. Everyone is talking about Swoop's video because she is calling out Mikey who is her friend on some terrible things that she has done to her and some crap that she has talked about Jeffree Star and James Charles. If you don't know who Mikey is, she has a YouTube channel, she's 30 years old, and she does a lot of like, um, what's it called? Like sci-fi effects, like very um, intense makeup, very gory. Her YouTube name is Glam and Gore, and it's honestly true to its name. She has 4 million subscribers, but it doesn't seem like she's grateful or thankful at all. It seems like she... Um, expects everything and her white privilege honey is showing and I'm glad that Swoop is calling her out I'm glad that anyone calls out these creators who are not only taking advantage of their platform But taking advantage of their subscribers and honestly they think that they're better than other people They also think that they are deserving of what they have and Mikey doesn't work that hard to be acting like she deserves everything so I'm going to go through how I feel about Swoop's video, what she pretty much talked about, kind of like a summary, but I'm also going to talk about some of those screenshots that Swoop shared. Her and Swoop have been friends for some time. If you don't know who Swoop is, she has a channel with about a quarter million followers and she's, you know, she's doing her thing on here too. They've been friends for some time and you can tell that this video is very, very personal. They have been tight. They have talked about very personal things, whether it's, you know, swoops and securities of her being like a black woman in the world, which is obviously like very understandable or just her being a minority in the industry. You know, there's not a lot of minority, like, I mean, there's a ton of people on YouTube, but YouTube does tend to have like white straight people at the top. Like why is Jake Paul, Logan Paul always like number one rewarded, Tana Mojo, like all of the above. So she has feelings and she's talked to Mikey, Mikey about them and she was very insensitive about how Swoop was feeling and honestly very like um, rude and just like selfish when she spoke to her friend. And that's why I'm titling this that she's a bad friend because she really was a bad friend to Swoop. So let me just go through some of the messages. So just a backstory. And Swoop explains this in her video very well. It's an hour long, so if you have the time, definitely go watch it. But she talks about how she reached out to Mikey and asked, like told her, yo, I'm depressed. I'm relapsing with depression. Um, Swoop herself has had a lot of mental health issues and she is so strong for how much she has shared online. She has created content that really just like, um, informs people and and helps people understand how to deal but also how severe these mental health issues can be and she reached out to Mikey and asked her like yo like I'm having issues right now I'm depressed I need someone to talk to and Mikey really just made this whole situation about herself and she was such a terrible friend when talking to Swoop about this so straight off the bat she goes like <laughs> she starts just talking about herself and talking about other people and just status okay so Mikey or Swoop is like, you know what? I am a black woman in this industry. I feel like sometimes I work so hard, like blah, 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 just expressing her feelings, honestly being so vulnerable and strong that I would, if I was Mikey, I'd be like, actually call me girl. Like, let's get on the phone. Like this is the type of stuff I would talk on the phone about. Anyways, so Mikey replies and says, it's tough because from my own perspective, I feel like you won't get handed anything right now on YouTube specifically, unless you're a minority in some sense of the word be it anything but white or part of the LGBT community. So there she is going for the LGBT community saying that YouTube makes it easier. I want a reality check for you, Miss Glam and Gore. It's not easier at all. The word gay, the word homophobic, all of those words are demonetized and when YouTube hears of this video that I'm putting up right now, I'm gonna get flagged for it and I'm gonna have to fill out a form about it and talk about how I'm not talking about controversial things just because I'm bringing up my identity. My identity alone is suppressed by YouTube and other people as well in the LGBT LGBT community. Transgender people are constantly like pushed off of YouTube and they aren't rewarded at all on this platform. They never have been. And even like people like Gigi Gorgeous, like she's just 
one of the ones that really made it in Nikita. But other than that, there are so many other women who have been pushed down and men by this platform and people I know personally who never even had a chance because the word transgender like removes them from anyone's search. So then she goes on and of course she's got more to say. <sighs> she says, but everyone else you everyone else i guess on youtube has pushed oh everyone else youtube has pushed in recent years after the era of tyler oakley and joey grasepas have been minority or not straight pretty much again saying that youtube continues to push people who are not straight or minorities because um i guess that's her belief even though it's very false it's just her trying to be like you know what why don't people watch me it's because they just push the gays now um, and then she continues to talk about James and Jeffrey, and this is when it picks up for me. So he, or the screenshot reads, where I look at two of the most controversial, when I look, where I look at the two most controversial beauty gurus growing rapidly, one of whom does content no better or more clever than my own and has less talent and does less of the work himself. She's actually speaking about James here, which is pretty crazy because they had their own collab literally coming out days while she's talk like days after she's talking about this and sending this to Swoop. Yet she's talking major crap about James. And I just think this is not only very homophobic, but just fake. Like, how are you going to use James Charles platform to benefit your channel? But then you're going to go talk crap to your friends, probably more than just Swoop. I'm assuming several other people. It just makes me think that you were completely fake, 100%. Nothing has been real if this whole time you have been using and manipulating other creators in the game, and you think that you are entitled to all of this. You also talked to um, talked about Jeffree Star, and again, you did a collab like the same day, I guess, when Jeffree and him were like friends or something. Um, Jeffree looks like insane here. But yeah, I don't know why you're talking crap about these people when you are getting 80,000 80, subscribers, I'm sorry, not Dwallis, but she got 80,000 subscribers after appearing on Jeffrey's channel, yet she's talking crap about Jeffrey. It just seems so, un, so like, such a poor execution here, sister. Like, how are you gonna go and be on Jeffree Star's channel where he has like, what, 17 million subscribers, and then you're going to be talking crap at the same time? Like, do you not understand, like, your actions have consequences? Like, that is such a beautiful line right there because every single thing you do, it will lead to something. And this text message exchange that could have never been happened, that could have just been, um, refrain from is going to haunt you now for a while and even though Jeffree Star um, is in a pretty bad place himself this does not make you look good at all. Then she continues to talk about her own experiences saying I'm just saying to be honest it's tough for me to weigh in with practical advice there because from my own perspective I feel the same thing from the opposite side. Pretty much taking her friend swoop. So Swoop reached out to her, remember, and was like, yo, I'm depressed. I have these own issues that I am dealing with. I need someone to talk to. And she flipped it into this whole thing about herself, about Jeffree Star, about James Charles, and about how YouTube is pu supposedly pushing, I didn't get this memo, no one gave me this memo, but YouTube is supposedly pushing the LGBT and minority creators up in the algorithm. Oh, that's not working for me, baby. I, that's not working for me or a lot of people. And I think that Mikey just has a major issue with James Charles being successful and being a man in makeup. And that is a reality for a lot of people out here. There are still so many people who are homophobic. I live in a, like, I guess a pretty like liberal area, but I would never hold my boyfriend's hand in public because it's not safe. It's not safe for anyone out here. And that's why it's personal for me when I see this because because I supported Mikey. I watched her channels. I was subscribed until today. And to know that this person is, like, believes things that are against me or against the person I am or my identity is just incredible for me to believe. And it's hard for me to accept. But after seeing these text messages and hearing Swoop's emotional and personal video, I knew that it was something I needed to talk about, but also something we need to remember because Mikey can't just like get away with this. Why do all these nasty creators continue to get away with this? And like, it's unfortunate. I used to enjoy her content, but you know, I can't. Well, Mikey, you know, she loves to talk about herself. This is all really just about Mikey at the end of the day, aka Lauren, aka Glam Gore. And she talks about how she herself feels like she is pretty much being oppressed by the system because she's generic and boring. No sister, nobody just wants to watch you. She says, if it makes you feel better, which it's not going to make me feel better. Who, like, why, do, why is that even a saying? 
I actually feel the opposite slash same, especially in LA. I feel like I'm not interesting enough because I'm so generic white girl and people seem to really be interested in anything but that for the past few years. Okay, so white people who are attractive and straight have been so successful and put on a pedestal for decades, for actually maybe centuries now, and we start celebrating diversity and start celebrating potty positivity, and now you feel personally attacked. Like, can we please get a reality check, bro? Like, there are so many other people out here who go through real problems and real struggles, and this is Mikey's problem? When you've got your friend Swoop, who is not only being very vulnerable right now to you, talking about her feelings, you feel that you are personally attacked in some way because you're just not at 10 billion subscribers. You think you should. You think that you're better than James, than Jeffrey, and honestly, anyone else. Someone needs to give her a reality check because honestly, Mikey, your content isn't that good for me to be just like hurt over it. Like I didn't question hitting unsubscribe knowing that this was the type of person you are and the type of way that you treat your friends. It wasn't even a question for me at all. Um, so yeah, maybe you are generic and maybe that's why people don't pay attention to you. And um, I just think... I don't know it's just like the excuses of like oh like you're they're pushing lgbt they're pushing um black people minorities like it's just that is such a stupid excuse and it's laughable and it reminds me that you yourself just create crappy content which keep in mind guys she's getting half a million dollars a year from youtube she's getting a million plus views per video yet she's complaining about the status that she, status that she's at like how ungrateful are you and let's talk about your privilege um so that's very bothersome. And you guys know every every time there's something going on online, Trisha Paytas has to chime in. And she tweeted this, and I just I just want to include it because I find it funny. Mikey is homophobic, and that's the lowest type of scum on the internet. She mocked mental illness before, so no surprise. Stupid. Let's cancel these fakes. Those who seem to be most perfect in PC are the evil rats behind closed doors. The evil rats is what did it for me. Like, <laughs> evil rat. That's maybe what she is. Maybe that's her next look. Like, she should just do a, a bloody rat, and that could be her moment, because really all she's good for on here, and I don't think anyone's going to want to collab with you after this. Like, James Charles, like, I hope he just takes down his video with her, and you don't get any more clout from it. And, I mean, it's been some time, so everyone's already watched it. But just, like, ew. I'm, I mean, ugh. She scrubbed Swoop of their friendship after Swoop started calling out and hinting that she has had personal issues with Mikey. And I just think Mikey is going to try anything in her power to try to save this and flip the story or whatever. Because if this is how her friend goes to her and asks her for help when she's depressed and this is how Mikey like handles it, I can, I'm just, it's going to be it. It's going to be a wild ride, guys. So I'm going to keep up with this story and going to hold Mikey accountable. Again, as a gay person on YouTube, I've had, like, any video that I've ever tagged gay or even mentioned the word gay, like, I'm going to have to go fill out forms because of this video. So um, it's not easier for us. And please don't ever think that you, as a white woman, makes anything harder. That's just not the case at all. And um, I really hope she does, like, when Corona's done to me, she does some traveling or something and sees how much more of the world there is because to have that type of mindset at 4 million subscribers makes me think that she somehow, like, she missed a class. Like, what? she missed a few life lessons and she needs to go back to school. So, Mikey, go work on your master's in having morals. And for now, we will unsubscribe and we can support people like Swoop and other people who have been genuine and who don't have sneaky, creepy DMs leaking around out online and stuff. Like, no one's going to find any DMs with me. No one's going to find any DMs, like, of me trashing anyone like that. Like, it's just not... It's not great behavior, and I just would feel so guilty if I was Mikey to um, to have said these things and to do collabs with people and to continue trying to work with people and benefit off of their status, knowing at the end of the day, it's all about numbers and all about money. We need to have better influencers because these people at the end of the day are influencing us and influencing other people, and we should just, we deserve better. We, we really do deserve better, and I think that there is going to be better. We're kind of scrubbing the top and cleaning out the bad ones, and I think that we need to start promoting and praising people who do well and who are honest and authentic. You can make mistakes and you can learn. But this type of moral belief that Mikey has isn't any mistake or problem she can just come back from. This is deep-rooted in her heart and her soul, and she does not like people like me. So, 
I don't like people like her. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little live stream. I've got a new video coming out soon. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram at SL04N. See you guys next time. Bye.